What's up everyone, it's B Kells here and uh, I'm just gonna as shortly as possible <laughs> recap the new um, loot reward system that they just mysteriously released to, or yesterday uh, now which is really good um, so you want to listen to that part uh, the new content that they talked about and then the styles that you can get from that they also said the DLC will be dropping in November and be on test um, next week or so so get ready for that so first new content there are there is a new solo mission so like a queued up solo mission where you'll be able to explore the old parts of Gotham under siege and do uh, missions that way and along with that they're gonna open up a new area in Gotham under siege so another uh, place in Gotham uh, where you'll have new daily missions and a weekly mission to do uh, which is cool next there's a new duo which basically in the duo you uh, go and find Hades in the underworld who you killed in the previous uh, Amazon Fury spoiler alert um, and you have to find them to fix some stuff uh, in the whole God universe thing and uh, there is one alert, only one alert, and it is a Greek trial of sorts. The, it's a new environment, but it kind of reminded me of the Demon's Plan, um, the League of Assassin's Stronghold. Um, the wall texture was kind of dull, but it's a new environment, so that's cool. Um, they, they only sh showed the first boss, uh, which was the Minotaur, and that was about it, so... You'll see more of that from test server, and then there's two new raids. The first one, uh, well, actually both of them are in uh, Olympus, which is pretty sweet. The environment for that looks really sick and really uh, uh, nice. Uh, but in the first raid, you'll be uh, clashing with Zeus, and there, uh, well, they showed the first two bosses. The first boss is Athena, and the second boss is. Hakati? Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that one. But um, for the bosses, they kind of talked about how they're not going to be tank and spank anymore, so there'll be a lot of mechanics for them, which is new. The Athena mechanics um, weren't showed that much, but they looked like there were sections of the room that were uh, walled off from other uh, members, and it's only in quarters, so I guess if you can avoid that, it'd be fine. Um, that's you know all I have for now. The second boss was definitely interesting because they have the red text on the screen when something's happening uh, that a, new, a moon phase, a certain moon phase was happening and then around the arena there's like circles which I'm assuming are the moon phases and to, I don't know, to do damage or something I guess or not have ads come out you'll have to step on the right moon phase so get knowledge up on the moon phases for uh, that raid. And then they didn't show the last boss. And then the second raid is you're going back to Olympus. And um, honestly, all these boss arenas look really cool and um, different than uh, most of the stuff we already had. But for the second uh, raid, they didn't really show too much, so I don't have much for you on that one. There will be elite versions of both of the raids, so you'll be able to get uh, elite stuff from that. And yeah. So the styles for the new content is um, from collections. You'll be able to get a toga head or not a head, toga chest and a toga legs, uh, which looked interesting. It was all right, and they're different from male and female, obviously. And then also from collections, you'll get a Medusa hair head style. Um, I'm pretty sure it's head, but it looks exactly like uh, tentacles coming out of her head, which looks pretty cool and kind of crazy, actually. And then, so the dropped gear, the purple dropped uh, gear, is going to be Gorgon-based. So you're basically, your armor is pieces of, uh, like, enemies that you've defeated. So it's kind of like a uh, warrior barbarian, which, which was interesting. Some of the pieces looked all right. And then the vendor gear, which looked really sick, was Godfall Superman style. So it honestly looked exactly like Godfall Superman. And that's also with the Elite style. So you'll get a little 
uh, afterglow or <laughs> afterglow on that um, once you have the elite pieces for that. Now, the more important fact, and I got the, to this a little bit later than I expected, um, is that there's a new loot system um, for way you get gear, not, um, you know, like the, the loot picker. That's going to stay the same. So, um, you're still going to get green, blue, and purple gear to pick from. From um, I'm not sure if it's going to be all the new content, but or the raid will have just purple gear. But um, the the green, blue, and purple go gear will now scale to your CR. So say you have a 150 head, and you get a green, blue, or purple piece, it'll be above what your current CR is. So it'll be like, say it's 150, green gear might be 151, 152 for blue, and then 153 for purple, which is good because it encourage you can, yeah, encourages you to keep playing that content and actually expecting to get gear that is better and you're not just like oh I got a crappy green piece oh I got a I got a blue piece I'm kind of excited but it's not really that good and you're just searching for the purple piece which is good second main thing is that the best gear is now going to be on event from the vendor and it'll be legendary gear um, the rarity will be legendary which will be uh, orange color which is different from uh, how it was and similar if I don't know if you guys are from T4 and before that um, similar to that that you can get the best gear from the vendor and yeah so instead of marks victory though to buy the vendor gear there will be a specific uh, currency um, for this currency they're at, th at the moment calling it ancient coins to buy the new gear so all the new content from this um, episode will give you ancient coins and you'll buy, use that to buy uh, the new gear now you're probably wondering but what does the elite version do so to get elite gear now you it's also from the vendor but you have to acquire an affinity or a re renown in this game and by beating you get that by beating the elite versions of the raid not certain bosses you have to beat the from what they said you have to beat the entire raid to get the elite uh renown and once you're at a certain point you can buy all the elite gear so say you need to get 100 renown and you get like five per raid so you run the raid 20 times wait yeah 20 20 times and you'll have that renown and you'll you you can buy the elite gear with ancient coins normally you'll just basically unlock the elite gear um, so yeah I think that's a way what eh, way more fair version of being able to get elite instead of lucking out and getting gear or not getting gear and then they're also still gonna have OP gear so it's not gonna drop from bosses like it used to and you'll have a really low chance you'll get it from collections and it sounds sketch at the beginning but let me uh, further explain no the collections will have a, be a rare drop from bosses and you'll only be able to get these collections once you finish the uh, vendor gear style so you'll need the entire set to be able to have a chance to get these OP collections which makes sense and it keeps you playing the game you're like looking for all these collections and um, continuing to play to get more not to just sit there and get nothing the good thing about the OP gear though is that you can also sell those sell and buy those collections so um, if you have money you should probably be saving it up now so you can buy either buy those pieces if you can't get them uh, normally um, which I don't I don't really mind because I'm obviously giving away money so it's not in my opinion too hard to get that so overall I really really like the new loot system because it encourages you to play more without feeling like you're getting nothing which is uh, a step in the right direction and obviously it hasn't played out yet but I think 
this will keep pe more people playing and keep people more like positive to beat instances and things like that so yeah thanks for watching if you made it to this point um i thanks because this is actually really important but um yeah so i hope this uh, helped you out with figure if you didn't watch the video from yesterday figuring out what was important and what you needed to know for this next month what you needed to be working on and yeah so thanks for watching i uh, will see you guys later and peace